17, part one of French for reading. We're going to look at a couple tenses that are a bit complex. We're going to look at the future perfect tense and the conditional perfect tense. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to take the passé composé, the perfect tense, and we're going to put the helping verb in the conditional or in the future. Etre, au revoir, in the future. So it will be like will have or would have and the past participle. So it'll look something like this. Il sera arrivé avant que je parte. So this will be he will have arrived. So how are we getting will have arrived? So arrived is a past participle. It's uh, conjugated with etre, but instead of putting etre in the present tense, il est arrivé, which would be he arrived, it's il sera arrivé, he will have arrived before I leave, je part. Avanka takes the subjunctive, so we put partir in the subjunctive here, before I leave. Now notice when we translate this, we will, he will have arrived before I leave, we have two helping verbs before the past participle, will and have. So that's why we call it the future and the perfect, the future perfect. Now, the same thing happens with the conditional. Il aurait décidé avant de l'avoir appelé. So here we've got décidé, past participle, conjugated with avoir, but avoir, instead of being in the present, is in the conditional. He would have decided before having called her, is what it says literally. He would have decided before having called her, or we could say he would have decided before he called her. So this would have decided is the conditional perfect. So again, it's two words, conditional and perfect. Ore and the, the that's would is the conditional and have would be the, the verb avoir. He would have decided before he called her. So it's kind of nice that it's pretty much the same structure and very, very similar meaning in French and English for uh, uh, the future and the conditional perfect. So let's look at a few more examples. J'aurais pu venir. So here's the pouvoir, the past participle. Something comes, so be able to come. And we have j'aurais, so the helping verb is in the conditional. So I would have been able to come or I could have come would have the same meaning. J'aurais voulu venir. Okay, so now we have the verb vouloir. That's the main verb. It's, it's um, followed by an infinitive, so it's wanted to come. And the helping verb is in the conditional. I would have wanted to come. J'aurais dû venir. Here the main verb is uh, devoir. That's a past par participle. And this has the idea of ought. Um, and so j'aurais dû uh, is translated, I should have come, uh, or I ought to have come. The future, okay, so, so what's the meaning going on here? The future, or, or, or another meaning that we can use for the future perfect is that it can be used to indicate something that probably that has already happened, not something that we know will have happened at another time, which is the normal meaning, but something that must or probably uh, uh, has has happened in in the past already, but we haven't found out about it. So let's take this sentence. Ils se seront encore perdus. Now, se perdre means to get lost, and it's a reflexive verb, so it's conjugated with être. So they, something gotten lost again, encore, but so it's seront. So literally, they will have gotten lost again, but that we wouldn't say they will have gotten lost again. We would say they must have gotten lost again is how we would translate that. So it's uh, the pro indicating the probability that something has already happened, but we don't know for certain. So we put it in kind of this weird future perfect tense. So here's three exercises. Write down your answers and check them in the next video.